I think love is a choice and I think it means accepting and forgiving and respect. Hi, I'm Brooke and this is my story. So I'm 20 years old. I recently got married in January. Um, I love to do all sorts of artsy things like I love painting, especially landscapes. And I also love drawing. Um, I also have played the flute since the beginning of middle school and I was also in marching band in high school. And my husband and I met when I was 18 and I was really against the idea of getting married. So we dated for a year and a half and he wanted to get married probably from the point we were dating for four months and kept trying to you know, talk to me about it and I liked him a lot so I didn't want to say no we're not getting married but so I kept saying later, later, you know, I need more time and because yeah it scared me to get married young but um, yeah so I do feel a little bit out of place with the married crowd, a lot of them are older but I also have found a lot of great friends who are married and learned that it doesn't have to be like some scary huge step. It really is just something that's fun and there's still awesome people that are married and it, you can get along with a lot of people that are different ages too, I found out. When I was younger, I think I had a hard time with having red hair, honestly. I like, you know, people would make up nicknames and I don't think they mean it, meant it in like a rude way, but I took it as in like, Oh, I was just hoping that my hair would naturally turn brown because <laughs> I really wanted brown hair but and I just had little things that I would pick apart about myself like I didn't like my eyes, I didn't like my hands, I felt like I was just very hard on myself about everything just because I had images in my head of what was perfect and but it's changed a lot as I've grown older and I now I love those things that I used to be picky <laughs> about. I wish I could tell my younger self to stop comparing myself to others and to notice the good things instead of focusing on the bad because I feel like that was a huge problem for me. You know, appreciate them, appreciate what they're doing with their life, what they look like, but don't take that and look at yourself like that. And you know, sometimes I have to delete my social media for like a week and just kind of get rid of it just because I find myself doing that with social media sometimes. So, but I really think it's just a mindset thing, you know, you can change it by just changing the way you think about yourself and about other people too. Huge problem we have, especially with the media, is looking at social media and thinking that is the person's life. When really, when you think about what you put on social media, you do the highlights of your life, you do the fun points, you never put when you're having a hard day on social media. So I think just keeping that mindset that that's highlights and appreciate those people's highlights and don't think that is their life. That is not every minute of their life. It's just a snapshot that they chose to put on because it's something that was great in their life. So I think just keeping that mindset, that helps me a lot thinking, okay, just because their life looks perfect right now doesn't mean that they're not going through hard things too. People always told me that my hair was unique and fun and it took a while for me to accept that and be like, oh, it is what makes me Brooke. But um, also just my mindset changed as I was able to look at those images and say like, yeah, they're beautiful, but that, that doesn't mean that I'm not 